Namaste and welcome to the Arpit course on numerical methods in civil engineering. This course will be delivered by Professor Desai and myself, Professor Eldo, Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Bombay. So, as all of you know that in civil engineering, we need to do variety of modeling. So, it can be design and uh, modeling of a building or it can be a bridge or it can be a river hydraulics modeling. So, all these uh, engineering problems like civil engineering problems, we need to do one way or another way of modeling. So, the main objective or the course objectives as far as this ARPIT course is concerned to develop a sound understanding of the various numerical techniques, principles and application to civil engineering problems. So, though this course is valid for all engineering as a numerical method, but we are mainly concentrating on civil engineering. So, the, here in this course, we will be covering the fundamental principles and basics of numerical methods and uh, also some of the important numerical techniques like uh, finite element method, finite difference methods, boundary element method, mystery methods, etc. will be covered and uh, its applications for especially for civil engineering problems will be discussed. Okay. So, further to what Professor Aldo said, we have a physical system. So, generally we try to do is express this physical system in terms of an equivalent mathematical system which could be either in the form of algebraic equations or differential equation or integral equations. If we are able to solve these equations analytically in close form, then that is the best way of solving the problem. Unfortunately, because of the complexities in domain material properties, boundary conditions and external disturbances in most problems we are not able to get analytical solution. Therefore, these equations we have to solve numerically. So, we are going to cover some aspects of how to handle a given physical problem numerically in this course on numerical methods as applied to various disciplines of civil engineering. In order to make this uh, learning process more efficient, we have devised the course content into number of modules. So, depending upon the learner's requirement or desire, they may go directly to the relevant module of their interest. So, in module 1, what Professor Aldo discussed, we will be covering mathematical modeling, uh, where essentially the tools and the techniques generally in vogue uh, for modeling and also we will talk about some advanced modeling applications. In module 2 and module 3, essentially we will be setting the platform for applying full-fledged numerical methods. In module 2, we will talk about the numerical approximation error analysis. Now, you see since we are talking about numerical methods, the very word suggests that we are talking about approximation. So, with each method, we have its own set of approximations or errors. So, we have to be aware of these errors and how to minimize them. How the errors propagate through our computation and what are the bounds on the errors. So, these are some of the questions we must have answer to before we can use these results with confidence. So, that is what we are going to cover in module 2, where we will also lay down some foundation blocks that will be used in solving full-fledged equations. In module 3, we will talk about solution of ordinary and partial differential equations and to begin with, we will start with the classification of differential equations because each variety of differential equation has its own characteristics and depending upon that we have to choose appropriate methodology. Whether we are dealing with initial value problem, boundary value problem, boundary initial value problem or characteristic problem, we have to understand the essence of these equations and then work with the solution of the same. So, that is what we will be covering in module 3. In module 4, we will then talk about the essence of finite difference and finite element methods. So, these are very well established methods. So, the pros and cons, the applicability, do's and don'ts 
those are the things we will be discussing in module 4. In module 5, we will talk about advanced numerical methods uh, like boundary element, mesh free methods and of course, talk about application of these methods to various engineering problems. So, overall we will have about 20 hours of lectures, 20 hours of tutorial projects and handout so that we have effective learning. When you go through this course, you will have better understanding of various numerical methods. You will have good exposure to the methods in performing tasks such as interpolation, differentiation, integration and solution of different types of equations. You will acquire an ability to apply such methods to get approximate solution to various mathematical problems in the domain of civil engineering. Also, you will have ability to analyze and evaluate accuracy of various numerical methods along with uh, the cases where they can be applied and you will have exposure to well established and advanced numerical methods uh, as a part of this course. And uh, some standard textbooks that we will be referring to in addition to some other research materials. So, that is uh, what uh, we have to say about this course. We are very confident that this course will be very helpful to teachers, students as well as practicing engineers. Thank you.